A tribute to Eddie Guerrero. Eduardo Cory Guerrero Lance was an American professional wrestler. He was born on October 9, 1967, and raised in El Paso. He was the son of wrestler Cory Guerrero, and he was a key member of the Guerrero wrestling family. Eddie Guerrero is considered one of the most influential wrestlers of all time. He graduated from Thomas Jefferson High School. He attended the University of New Mexico and later New Mexico Highlands University on an athletic scholarship. It was there, Guerrero entered in college wrestling before moving to Mexico to train as a professional wrestler. He followed in the footsteps of his brothers and father who wrestled in Mexico. As a boy, he would attend wrestling promotions hosted by his father, Cory Guerrero, at the El Paso County Coliseum. Guerrero's father allowed him and his nephew Chavo to wrestle each other during breaks. Guerrero performed for several major professional wrestling promotions in Mexico, Japan, and the United States for Extreme Championship Wrestling, ECW, World Championship Wrestling, WCW, and especially World Wrestling Federation and World Wrestling Entertainment. Guerrero's gimmick was Latino Heat, a cunning, resourceful wrestler who would do anything to win a match. I lie. I cheat. I steal. Used in one of his entry themes, he used the phrase in part in his 2005 autobiography, titled Cheating Death, Stealing Life. Despite being a heel for most of his career, he was popular in and out of the ring and was at the peak of his career as a fan face from 2003 to 2005, becoming the best wrestler on the SmackDown brand in 2004. He experienced various substance abuse problems, including alcoholism and an addiction to painkillers. These real-life issues were sometimes incorporated into his storylines. Guerrero spent the early part of his wrestling career in Mexican promotions and formed a popular tag team with Art Bar. After Bar's death, Guerrero joined ECW in 1995 and gained his first major exposure in America by winning the ECW World Television Championship. Later that year, Guerrero moved to WCW where he became the WCW United States Champion and WCW Cruiserweight Champion, holding the Latin World Championship. He left WCW in 2000 after the company failed to promote him to a main event position. Along with his WCW colleagues Chris Benoit, Dean Malenko, and Perry Saturn, he moved to the WWF and formed a group called the Radicals. Guerrero won the WWF European Championship and the WWF Intercontinental Championship before being released in 2001 due to drug addiction. After being hired back in 2002, he formed Los Guerreros with his nephew Chavo winning the WWE Tag Team Championship and establishing himself on the SmackDown brand. He rose to main event status and won the WWE Championship, his only world championship at No Way Out 2004. He lost the title later that year, but remained a popu popular main eventer until his death on November 13, 2005. He was posthumously inducted into the WWE, AAA, Wrestling Spectator Newsletter, and Hardcore Hall of Fame. After the death of his friend Art Barr, Guerrero began using the frog splash as a finisher. He performed a series of three suplexes, 
calling the trio the Three Amigos. He used a variation of the Texas cloverleaf and called it the lasso from El Paso. Often included in his matches, Eddie would employ what commentator Taz would refer to as the smoking gun, a chair, championship belt, or other unauthorized item and toss it to his opponent as the referee turned around from a distraction. As the referee began assessing the issue or returning the item to its original location, Eddie would gain an advantage of some sort to win the match. Some matches had Eddie smack a chair on the mat and toss the chair to his opponent and lie on the ground. When the referee turned around and saw the opponent had the chair, they would call a disqualification and the match would end in Eddie's favor. On November 13, 2005, Guerrero was found unconscious in his hotel room at the Marriott Hotel City Center in Minneapolis by his nephew, Chavo. In a 2020 interview for the documentary Dark Side of the Ring, Chavo explained that Eddie had left his hand with a toothbrush in the hotel room bathroom and was clinging to life when Chavo found him. Eddie Guerrero died in the ambulance. He was 38 years old. An autopsy determined that Guerrero died of acute heart failure due to an atherosclerotic heart condition. He is buried at Green Acres Memorial Park Cemetery in Scottsdale, Arizona. His funeral was officiated by superstar Billy Graham. The November 14, 2005 episodes of Raw and the November 18, 2005 Smackdown each featured a tribute to Guerrero. All storylines were changed and no WWE officials were forced to perform, although several matches took place, including Chavo, who used his uncle's finishing trick, the Frog Splash, to end the match. Raw kicked off with all the wrestlers and several stagehands taking the stage as Vince McMahon addressed the live crowd before closing the 10 o'clock salute. Besides Raw and SmackDown, tribute shows were dedicated to total non-stop action wrestling pay-per-view Genesis, and Ring of Honor named their next show Night of Tribute. Ohio Valley Wrestling WWE's developmental territory at the time paid tribute to Guerrero at a televised taping following his death. Many of the wrestlers were e.g. upon them. Eventually, other wrestlers, primarily his nephew Chavo and friends Mysterio and Christian Cage, used Guerrero's finisher, the Frog Splash, to pay tribute to him in their matches. Warzone Wrestling paid tribute to Guerrero with a 10 o'clock salute on one of their cards. Wrestlers CM Punk and Rey Mysterio dedicated some of their matches to Guerrero. Like Johnny Cash's Hurt, Three Door Down song Here Without You was used as a tribute to Guerrero. Guerrero is considered one of the greatest in-ring performers of all time. A poll by WWE List ranked him as the 11th greatest professional wrestler of all time. Ric Flair ranked Guerrero as one of his top 10 opponents, while Chris Jericho said he was the best performer in the world when he was on. Kurt Angle referred to Guerrero as the second greatest professional wrestler after Shawn Michaels, Eddie could have been the greatest of all time because when I got into wrestling, he was in the top three that we talked about, so Eddie had everything. He was a lot of fun, but he had all the techniques. He was a great wrestler, he got it. He got finishes. He knew how to make them. WWE named Guerrero one of the most beloved and greatest WWE superstars of all time, 
one of the greatest technical wrestlers and the fifth greatest performer in the history of the company's SmackDown brand.